morning everyone. Ziad Elder here. Today I'm going to do a video quickly on how do you keep your cycling clothes looking great and lasting long. Um, it starts with basically how you care for them. I'm going to bring a close up here to the machine here. Hopefully you'll be able to dial in. You notice here I've got it on cold. Here, that's just the load size. But basically what's important is the fabric selector. It is on delicate. Okay, so you wanna, you wanna wash your cycling garments on gentle cycle, on the gentle cycle. That's the primary thing. Let me pan the camera up here. So I've just done a load and I'm gonna show you basically how you keep your stuff from the decals peeling and all that kind of stuff. You wash your shorts inside out because really you're not washing dirt, you're washing odor more than anything. And this, this pad is critical to make sure there's no bacteria or anything that sets in. So turn your shorts inside out, wash them in cold water on a gentle cycle. That's all they need. And once you're done, you want to make sure don't go anywhere near the dryer. You know, it's going to be in a rush. They need to be hung up. So basically I turn them the right side out now to hang them so they're ready to go and they drop. But basically you hang them and uh, you can hang them anywhere. I mean, I don't put mine outside. If you do have to put them outside, try not to put them in direct sunlight. They don't need the heat. I hang mine on a rack that I installed myself. And basically it's indoors and all of them just hang on hangers. And then I hang them in my closet when, until I'm ready to use them. But that's pretty much it. So for the jerseys, you want to make sure I'm about to do a load of my jerseys soon, but I'm going to go ahead and just show you the prep here because as far as hanging is the same. Make sure your jerseys are inside out again, but make sure they're zipped up if they have zippers. That way the zippers don't get damaged or the zippers don't snag other things. And for all your cycling clothes, do not, whatever you do, don't wash them with your jeans, your other cotton clothes or whatever. Wash your, these are polyester jerseys, your Lycra shorts. Wash them similar colors, of course, together, but wash them with other cycling clothes and other workout clothes. So if you have like, for example, this is not a cycling shirt, but it's made out of polyester, same fabric. You don't want to put jeans and other rough fabrics in with your cycling clothes because after, over time, they can wear them out quicker. Just that friction from being in the machine, okay? So gentle cycle, light fabrics together, and that should do it. And don't don't put them in the dryer. I mean, if you must, you might you could do air fluff, but I don't think it's necessary because once the washer spins, they're pretty much all the water's out of them, and you just hang them up for a short time and they're ready to go. But that's how you keep your cycling clothes looking well. All your little decals, if you do, by doing them inside and out, nothing peels off because really you're washing older. You don't need to beat them up in a regular cycle or a heavy cycle because you're not washing dirt unless you're a mountain biker that do, does a lot of off-road and you get a lot of mud on there. And in that case, really, unless the mud is baked in, the general cycle should be enough to just wash it out if you don't let it kick. I wanted to use this to kind of point out, uh, once my clothes are done, this is where I hang them. I have a rack that I built into my wall here in the laundry area and I hang my clothes indoor. You can hang them on a string in your garage, wherever that works for you. Just make sure it's not outside in direct sunlight because it will just fade your, your garments faster. You don't need to hang them in the sun for any reason. Hang them on a porch, under a covered porch, wherever it works for you. But just make sure they're hanging. I choose to use hangers. It's easier. There's nothing to snag on the lycra and the polyester. So it just works. If you start hanging up on nails and hooks and other things, you run the risk of starting to snag and our garments are very delicate. Once you start snagging stuff, it just starts messing it up. So the hangers have worked for me over the years. You get them pretty cheap. I buy the plastic hangers from Walmart, they're dirt cheap in a pack. And that's what I use, I hang them. So from here, I just take them and hang them in my closet and they're ready when I'm ready to go rot. But that's pretty much all you need to do. You don't need a fancy rack like this. This just happens to come in my laundry room. I installed it and it worked great. We use them for everything. But you can see I've got my socks up there. All my socks are up there. And then I've got some of my other uh, 
wool garments that I wash with my cycling clothes hanging hang as well, but primarily I can just kind of pan. And so everything's ready to go. You know, I turn them inside out, I hang them on there and they're ready to go. And that's the way because this kind of care, uh, it takes years before I need to replace anything. If anything, I'll add something because, oh, a new design comes up that I like, because I like simple old school stuff. But that's pretty much, I just want to give you an idea. So, you know, hang a rope in a garage, whatever, nail and put your clothes on a hanger, hang it on the nail, whatever works for you. But that extra little care will just protect your garment so much longer. You know, cycling clothes are not cheap. And so you might as well take a little bit of care. So I just wanted to point that out. Anyway, the other thing to add, after riding, especially in the summer, a lot of times you're soaking wet. When you take that jersey off, turn it inside out, just like I showed you, and hang them. Don't just take them and throw them in a hamper wet with sweat because it just doesn't help the jersey at all. Make sure you hang them in your bathroom or somewhere out of the way and let it dry before you put it in the hamper if you're not gonna do the laundry right away. Do not put your wet cycling clothes in your hamper and let them sit there for days on end. It just, it's not good for the, for the garments. So other than that, I really can't think of any other tip, but with what I've just said, I've got jerseys from like 1999 when I used to race that still look great when I put them on. You can't tell they're that old. And that's what it takes. It keeps everything working and it just lasts longer. These things, we spend a lot of money on them. You might as well take care of them. So that's all I got to add today. And uh, be safe on the roads. Thanks for tuning in.